Hey what's up guys, and this is the second part for a Unity tutorial and for this one I will actually just show you like very two simple stuff one of it is actually the uh, his join and the other one is the character join so maybe I'm using the character join wrongly but for now I'm just going to stick to that so what character join does is actually more on character based ragdoll like for example you want to set a limit on how much he can bend his uh, elbow or arm yeah that's then you just crack the joint to set your limits on everything like your spring the limit all these sort of things and basically the break force for inf infinity is basically this so if I just pull this for like forever I keep pulling it too much it, w it won't break the whole thing won't, won't break but if I actually like set the force to like 20 or something so if I go past the thing will actually break apart so yeah so that's for the character join and for this hinge join these joints are actually good for like you know uh, opening and closing doors uh, making the window pane all sorts of things so you want to play it you can actually do a lot of cool stuff for this yeah, but I mean this is just my own exploring stuff. So this is what you can do for your win so-called window pane, or your window, or door, whatever it is. But this is what you can do. And for correct the joint, basically what I can do for that is I actually make rope for this. So I make grappling hook, or basically you can swing across one certain point to another. So you can just use character joint for this, but this actually more on a character rag dolls. But for yeah, so what you gotta do here for the first part is for the character joint, just make very simple cubes. You're just gonna make three, one, and I'm just gonna duplicate them, two, and three. So once you make these cubes. So once you make these cubes, uh, what you want to do is just, there's no scripting required, all you need to do is just add character join. And once you add character join, there's this thing called connected body, all you need to do is just need to set them, their connected body to where they are. So for this, there is no uh, connected body, but for the rest, there is, because there's nothing for you to connect for this. So for this, the middle one, you want to make sure that you connect from the top, so you drag top is one here which is this so this is top middle and bottom so why the why the uh, why is the point where why is the point on where uh, like I make sure this doesn't have connected body is because let's say if you want to do something like grappling hook you want a, a very strong force on top so yeah that's the point if you make a very strong force on the top then you don't add any connected body so this will just stick to one certain place but then if you add a connected body to this and when this move this will actually follows you but if you don't put any connected body this one will just stays in place <coughs> so let's say if I move the any part of here except for the top then this top will always stays in place whenever I move any of this below so once I did all this I make sure I click out the gravity force here use gravity from the rigid body uncheck that when you play it all you need to do is just move anyone and then yeah you basically have a so called rope effect or a swinging effect so if I just move the top it will actually move, it will stay static in there but if I actually put connect the body for sorry, if I actually put the connect the body from top to something else like let's say I put mid and as this move, everyone will move as well so that that's the point where I make sure there's no connect the body so that uh, I have a very specific top like a point where it just sticks there or the rest can just move so for the next part where I do the door 
basically same thing just add hinge joint so I just make another cube and just basically resize that very easy one and this will be my door so what can you do with this so what you can do is actually let's say you can put a trigger in front of the door so or yeah when you put a trigger in front of the door like here so when you put a trigger there let's say if you press a button or it just steps there then the door will actually move I mean open so called open by using scripts to move but for this let's it's just for testing purpose or exploring then you can just use this for now so at here join maybe I will just hit add one for it and then my connected body will be the door here oh. and make sure you have rigid body for that too in order for these joints to work each of them has to have rigid body so once you do that I think that's really pretty much it take out the same thing, take out use gravity so they won't fall off for now you can just do anything you want and if I just move this door the door will just stays like this there's no gravity or anything else but yeah so basically this point is static because there's nothing here this is just a static point for this it's just basically move the door everything just follows you so if you put too much impact on this then this will be affected so, but if, if I move this main door then this door actually move as well coming because this is connected with this body same thing applies for your rope here over there oh I think I deleted that oh now mine's here so yeah so that's it for this and so basically in conclusion this is the uh, crack the joint and his joint basically what you need is just a rigid body that you definitely need rigid body or when you add it when you add a component of correct joint you actually automatically adds it for you so let's say if I add it here, let's say I add one make a new cube, let's say so I add, I'll correct the join a rigid body will, be, will immediately add it for you and so yeah so you have a rigid body and make sure your connector body connects to this or your, for this let's say you're doing grappling hook so make sure this one is static so you either you don't and we don't even put this component but you make sure you have rigid body or you put this but put none put your connected body to nothing and for the next second one put your connected body to the top one top of you above of you wherever you want to call it and same thing for your bot same thing for hinge joint just that hinge joint you can just put it anywhere you want for let's say this is the hitch is the part where you don't want it to turn so let's say this is the door let's say your door is one sided so let's say this is a one sided door then put it here and then your connector body will be this very simple as that so well, let's say when you touch a certain point let's say you touch here you want to open the door then this will actually open by using either animation, mechanism or your scripts so yeah I'll see you guys next time where probably do new things as well maybe explosion effects but we stay tuned for that see you guys next time